Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris Chavez here with Fandrew.com. Today I have a special video for you. Uh, I want to show you guys how to make your um, Samsung or HTC device. I want to show you guys how to give it the stock Android look. So uh, first off, let's cover what that means. Now on Android ice cream sandwich and above, so ice cream sandwich and jelly bean, Google's Mat Matias Duarte, he's like the design lead for like the... Um, the UI for Android. He actually introduced a whole new UI that looks better than anything you've ever seen on any other Android device. It's actually called Hollow UI, and it's a very minimal looking um, UI that's different from what we've seen on Gingerbread or Cupcake or some of the older phones. And it's gorgeous. It's absolutely wonderful. And for the first time, I'm actually proud to say I love the stock Android UI experience. Uh, the only problem is if you have a Samsung phone or an HTC phone or an LG phone, you have no idea what that looks like because every manufacturer has their own skin or their own UI that they put on top of Android. So Samsung has theirs, it's called TouchWiz UI, HTC has theirs, it's called Sense UI and so forth. And it can be a little bit frustrating if you want a stock Android experience because there's, it's really not an option. Now some people have their own little opinions on that, they think that uh, LG or HTC or Samsung should release maybe um, just a separate applications in the Google Play Store where people can download that. I don't think so. I think Android's open and they're allowed to do whatever they want with it and they make awesome phones and they're allowed to put their own little uh, thumbprints on Android to kind of give it their own, you know, like uh, individuality. I think it's awesome. It's good for competition. It's cool. That's the way, that's actually what Android was designed, designed for and it's totally cool. What I do think is that Google should actually introduce many of their stock apps or stock Android apps into the Google Play Store and allow users to download those and use those over, you know, the Samsung or HTC ones if they want to. That's, that is what should happen. So, uh, now when I make videos, a lot of times people always ask me, you know, like, oh, how did you get your phone looking so fly, brother? Yo, dog, how you get your phone looking so fly? And when I go out, you know, the ladies, they always be crowding me, you know, like, yo, Chris, what about that D? And, yeah, your phone looking kind of good too. And I'm just like, you know, whoa, 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 whoa ladies, easy, you know. I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking. But uh, this is actually how. So this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly which apps you need to download and how you can give a completely stock. This isn't rooted. This isn't, you know, flashing any crazy custom ROMs. You know, I'm not getting too crazy with it. This is a completely stock Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm going to show you guys how you can make it look like stock Android without having to go through all the troubles of rooting and avoiding warranties and all that mess. So uh, let's just get to it. Right off the bat, you're going to notice I have a really cool looking lock screen. This is called Widget Locker and it comes to you courtesy of Tesla Coil Software. The developer's name is Kevin. He's super awesome and um, you can see this um, lock screen actually provides for a super awesome, um, you know, just stock ice cream sandwich look. So, um, oh, before I forget, uh, I'm going to include links or a link down below to the Fandroid post where I'm going to have links to all of these applications and even some alternatives because some of these are paid applications. So like in this case, this is a widget locker. This is actually $2 to $3. There's a little bit cheaper one that just gives you the actual stock Android lock screen without all the flashy, um, cool functions that this one does. This one, you can theme it. You can put a bunch of different locks to go to different shortcuts and uh, widgets. You can put any widget you want up here. This is actually a widget from a totally different application, not from widget locker. So don't really look at that. But um, yeah, let's just get to it and um, check out some of the other stuff here. Uh, oh, one more thing. One thing you can actually um, uh, design, not uh, what do you call it, theme or change the look of is the notification bar area here or the settings. So just kind of get that out of your head right now. To change any of that, you're going to need to flash a custom ROM or root your device. So, okay, now that we covered that, this is the launch screen. And, um, or the launcher slash home screen, this is where you're going to dump all your application and stuff. So if you have Sense or uh, an HTC phone or Samsung phone, you know, yours probably looks a little bit different than this. You don't have the cool little thingies here. Look at that. Nice and smooth, right? So this is, comes to you, again, from Tesla Coolest Software, the guy that made Widget Locker. This is called Nova Launcher. And there's a ton of launcher replacements in the Google Play Store. This is just one of them. Uh, this is actually pr the Nova Launcher Prime because I believe in paying for applications and supporting our developers to make our phone looking super fly, where some people just want to get everything for free. And I think that's, that's stupid and that doesn't help anybody. But, okay, so this has... Um, a lot of the look, obviously, of a stock Android launcher, but it has a ton of functionality as well. There's a bunch of hidden features and all kinds of crazy stuff you can do and customize it. And you can download, what do you call them, themes from the Google Play Store and, you know, change the icons and just basically make it look all uh, funky, fresh, and cool if you want to. You know, if you get bored of this whole hollow look, 
or holo hol, hol, holo holo UI. <laughs> um, okay, so that's Nova Launcher. The background here you see here is uh, it actually comes stock on the Galaxy uh, Galaxy S3. Let me go to my wallpapers, live wallpapers, and it's called Phase Beam wall uh, Phase Beam live wallpaper. Only problem is it doesn't come on every device. So if you have an HTC phone or sometimes like my my Asus tablet, Asus tablet doesn't have that on there. So some guy actually uploaded an application. It's actually free ICS Phase Beam Live Wallpaper. And it's a little bit better than the stock one that just already comes on your device because it has a cool little 3D effect when you swipe and you can actually customize it and do a bunch of other crazy stuff with it. So uh, moving on from there, the most uh, I guess um, application that I use the most these are right here, but um, my camera application on the Galaxy S3 can My camera's getting a little hot. Um, oh geez, man I swear everything goes wrong when you're making a video um, The camera application this one's called camera jelly bean plus and it actually gives you the stock jelly bean uh, Camera application, which is awesome. So you snap pictures It's got a ton of cool features and it actually has an ultra JPEG high quality setting our quality setting it's called ultra and it makes it look really snazzy and everything is you know works exactly like you would find on a jelly bean camera you can even swipe to get into your gallery there you can see baby Jesus there somebody broke him and I had to put his little arm back together but I think it was someone else's arm that was holding a flask of wine baby shouldn't be drinking baby Jesus um, and it actually comes bundled with the gallery because as you can see the, the, the two are closely tied together open up the jelly bean uh, gallery you can see here uh, discard settings, yes. This is just a stock jelly bean gallery and it looks super awesome and cool. There's an ice cream sandwich one that doesn't show the notification bar up there, but since Android 4.2 jelly bean, uh, it now shows the notification. So when people text you and ask you if you have things for sale, you can uh, text them back, which is cool. So, uh, and it has the edit functionality too. So you can go here, click, you know, edit, use jelly bean one, and it has the editor function. So you can put some cool hipster filters. Oh, that's a dope looking image, man. I gotta share that on Instagram. Um, but yeah, so that's also on the, on the Google Play Store. Messaging. I'm trying to cool off my camera, it's overheating. Messaging application, this is the stock ice cream sandwich one, or jelly, jelly bean, stock ice cream, bad, stock ice cream bean stock ice bean and it just looks like you would see it on a stock Android device this one actually I love a lot the only problem with it is it doesn't send MMS so keep that in mind if you don't send picture messages or sex that much then it's not really too big a deal so uh, if you do you know just jump into your other standard messaging app that's found on your phone uh, moving on here we have the clock this is the clock from Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. It looks super awesome. There's a free version that doesn't give you the alarm clock function. Alarm clock. Clock function. So this one does, and this one is about $2 in the Google Play Store. Not that much money, and it's awesome. The calculator, this is from the CyanogenMod. Uh, one of the guys from the CyanogenMod team, he made a totally awesome calculator. And this is actually better than you would find on stock Android because it's got a uh, graphing functionality and it's got scientific calculators. It's got some pretty crazy stuff. Fully featured and absolutely free. Uh, Google actually released the Google Calendar. This is just straight from Google and it's a stock Android calendar that you would find on any other stock Android device. Super awesome. Uh, when it comes to keyboards, there's a 4.2, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean keyboard. Let me go ahead and jump on here and send some message uh this is the same keyboard that you find on android 4.2 jelly bean so this is the same so you can see it's got the swipe function stuff that you can do and it's got the little preview as you're swiping and it's totally awesome so this video has gone long enough that pretty much concludes it for stock android apps that i found in the google play store i wish android or google would actually release some more in the google play store like official ones maybe like the contact and the dialer app because as it stands um, I, those, nobody's actually released any of those into the Google Play Store, so, uh, really frustrating. Once those two come in, it'll be awesome. If you guys have any other, uh, hints or tips or anything, go ahead and, uh, leave some comments on this YouTube video here. Don't forget to hit the link down below and thumbs up, um, so other people can see this video. And head on to Fandroid.com where I'll have the post, um, where I have all the links to all these applications and even some free alternatives. So with that, I'm Chris Chavez with Fandroid.com. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.